Hello, what's up? Welcome back to our corner and this is Ali. And on this video, we will try to tackle one of the issues on our PS4 jailbreak on 9.0 where the PS4 could not detect the USB for the activation of the exploit. This is an issue for our PS4 on 9.0 when uh, the PS4 asked for the USB and after you insert the USB, you can no longer receive the next notification. That simply means that the PS4 could not recognize the USB and if that happens, you won't be able to activate your exploit. Though we have already addressed this issue on some of our videos, but since we still receive this question often, I do believe that uh, this requires a more delicate attention so that we can further help our gamers who are stuck on this problem. And before we proceed, let us just provide more information about this certain issue. Since the PS4 on 9.0 requires a USB dongle to activate the jailbreak, if your PS4 is having some issues recognizing the USB, you won't be able to activate your exploit or your jailbreak. There could be a multiple reason for this. It could be the USB port of your PS4, or the USB itself, or the exploit itself. But we will try to cover each and every possible reason and provide a solution. First, let us go ahead on our PS4 and make sure that the USB ports are working. On our PS4, the best way to check the USB port if it's working or not is first we have to insert a working USB or external hard drive. What we mean by working USB is a USB that we can use to transfer files. And once you have your working USB, go to the gallery or capture gallery, try to transfer any items uh, on your USB or external hard drive. So if you don't have any items here, just go ahead and uh, press the share button on the main menu. Then get a screenshot. Then go back to the capture gallery. Highlight the item, then press option. Then click on copy to USB device. If you're not getting an error here, that means that your USB port is working. If you're having some issues with your USB port, you will get this message. That means that your USB cannot be detected by the PS4. So try to use a different USB port for your PS4. This can happen because a USB port can sometimes become faulty. So if you're using the same USB port to activate your jailbreak, sometimes you will notice that uh, it's having a hard time activating the jailbreak or you are getting a kernel panic more often. When that happens, try to use a USB port or try to use a different USB port and make sure they are working. Now, if you have verified that both of your USB ports are working, but your PS4 could still not recognize the USB or your USB for the jailbreak activation, you will have to format a new USB dongle. To do that, let me go ahead and show you how to set up a new USB dongle for activation. On our PC, let us go ahead and download these two applications first. First is our expat hack speaker. Just open the link from our description and click on this part to download. Next is our Win32 Disk Imager. Again, you can find the link on our description and click on this part to download. Now go ahead and insert the USB that we are going to use for the jailbreak activation. For this, you will have to use a USB flash drive. Though I haven't verified it again, but the last time that I have tried using an external hard drive, it did not work to activate my jailbreak. So if you want to use an external hard drive to activate your jailbreak, you can go ahead and use a magic USB format. Using a magic USB, you can use that hard drive to activate your jailbreak and at the same time, still use that hard drive for your games, movies, or whatsoever. Using a magic USB, you don't have to sacrifice a specific hard drive to activate your jailbreak. Like what we are going to do now, the USB that we are going to use for the jailbreak activation will only have a sole purpose of just for the jailbreak activation. Now, after you have inserted your USB on your PC, open the Win32 Disk Imager and on the device, make sure that your USB is selected. To make sure, go ahead and open a Windows. So this 2GB USB is the one that we are going to use as our USB dongle for the activation. So it's on Drive G and make sure that on the device, your drive is selected. Be careful not to choose the wrong drive. Now, after you have selected the right drive, click on this part and load the expat hack speaker. 
Now, once both are properly selected, go ahead and click on right. So again, you have to make sure that you have properly selected the correct drive for this. Once you are good, go ahead and press yes. And once you see the red successful, we can go ahead and use this USB to activate our jailbreak. Now, going back on the PS4, before you get to this part, you have to verify that your USB port that you are going to use are working. If you are still having some issues activating the jailbreak, then you may have to reset your host first. To reset your host, you need to be connected online. So let us go to the network settings first. Set up internet connection. Connect to your local connection. Choose custom. IP address automatic. Do not specify. And on the DNS settings, choose manual. And use this DNS. It is highly advisable to use a DNS that blocks Sony updates every time you go online then click on next automatic do not use and test your internet connection you should have a successful test here otherwise you will have to check the issue first on your current connection now once successful go back to the browser press option close window option again delete all option settings delete cookies clear website data then on the enter url you may go ahead and use the same host or try to use a different host but on this video let us go ahead and use uh, the caros host and here use cold hand 900 And after you see this message, you can go ahead and disable your internet. Then let us go ahead and activate our jailbreak. Now, if you are still having the same issues with your USB, cannot be detected by your PS4, then the issue is on your USB itself. What you can do is simply use a different USB and repeat the process how we format the USB for the jailbreak activation. Because if the PS4 could not detect the USB, it can only be three things. Either your USB port or the USB itself, or you simply just have to change your host. So this will be it for now. If you still have any questions or suggestions, you may still go ahead and share them on our comment section and we will go ahead and address them. And again, my name is Ang Lee. If you find this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.